want to tell you Glindy's story. Glindy's one of the little girls here in the orphanage at Foundation of Salvation. She is now six years old. She is basically quadriplegic. She looks like she has severe cerebral palsy. Up until a little before her third birthday, she was a normal, happy little girl. Her mother passed away. Her father remarried. The stepmother, I'm assuming, didn't want to have a daughter of another woman in her house and basically tried to kill her with a blow to the back of the head and now has severe brain damage, can't talk, walk, anything, and never will. We've talked with the neurologist, he's examined her, and he told us that she is one of thousands, plural, that has suffered this type of abuse. Just talking to uh, Sammy Wilson and Dr. Matt Hammond in Guatemala about how uh, people actually will bring a child like this to the front door of this orphanage and just drop them off and walk away. We'd love to take them back. Chukulke is a community still in the department of Weiwei-Tenango, but located in one of the mountains. Very poor area, not a lot of evangelical churches in this area, pretty much extreme poverty. And nobody does a medical mission or nobody does much of any kind of mission up there because it's difficult to get there, difficult to get back. But once we got there and got set up, it was just, the miracles of God were commonplace. We had a huge tent that was the waiting area outside a gate, and we would bring in 20 to 25 people at a time, and they would go to the evangelism section where the gospel was presented in a simple, straightforward fashion. Spanish language Bibles were given out, and then from the evangelism section, they went to triage and we got all the information, what was wrong, what, what their ailments were. And from triage, they went over and met with one of the three doctors and nurses. This is my fifth trip to Guatemala. God brought us to a place with a lot of need. It's just been a wonderful blessing to be here with such gracious people. And we've been really feeling a medical need here. The things that they battle just in common uh, sanitation is something that uh, they have problems with intestinal parasites and, and they're just, just so loving and caring and so appreciative of everything the medical team does for them. From that point they went to the pharmacy and got all their medicine all free of charge, all donated. And from medicine they went back over to the other building to have their eyes checked and get free glasses. It was an, an extremely organized, smooth running. The team just did great. I was concerned with having a team of 26 people. It was the largest team I'd ever taken to the mission field and I thought, and I even told the pastor, I'll never take another team that big, that's too many. I don't know how we could have ever pulled off what we pulled off if I hadn't had 26 people. Yeah. We are handed out medications, and I am trying my best to do this Spanish. It's tough, but the Lord's with us because that's the only way I can do it. We've seen uh, some, I guess, uh, miracle sight uh, take place. I just run from place to place telling people where to go, to go to the pharmacy, from the doctors, to go from the place where they're waiting to the pharmacy, and uh, a lot of waiting too, just running and waiting. I am a runner at the time, just uh, hanging around and playing with the kids and uh, going back and forth and getting people in line for the doctors. My job here as a commission is to tell the people about Jesus, to do the best we can to spread the gospel. Giving out medication to 400 people every day has been quite an experience. Uh, I've been taking uh, kids from one place and their parents uh, from one place to the other and I've been playing with the children and loving it and uh, just seeing the smiles on their faces are incredible. It's, it's an honor. It's, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I cleaned off the glasses and I helped my dad write down the prescriptions for the pharmacy. We put the meds in the bag and we give them to Jesse. It means a lot to be here as a family and to be able to work together and to minister together as a family and just help um, those that are coming. 
trip has been absolutely awesome. We've seen God work in so many ways that it, it's just unbelievable. Hermanos, para mí es una gran bendición que ustedes vengan aquí a este lugar donde hasta nuestros gobiernos eh, de nuestro país han descuidado y que la iglesia, a través de la iglesia, podemos llevar eh, la salud a través del poder de Cristo Jesús. Contenta. Y bien, bien contento. Mission trips like this are made possible because of the faithful giving of partners. When you partner with Ron Phillips Ministries, you are able to touch the lives of people all around the world through television, radio, print media, conferences, the RPM call center, medical mission, and much, much more. To all of our partners, I want to say thank you very, very much for your sacrificial giving that made this year's ministry possible. If you're not a partner, Would you consider today becoming a partner of Ron Phillips Ministries and being involved in something bigger than you are personally? Become a partner today.